So as we can see here, I got an issue with my PBs. They're going to the wrong. They're 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 following the wrong leg. My move me only moves my legs. My sorry, my place me and my move me doesn't move anything else. So we have some work to do, but not much. Get rid of my parent constraints. And LT, LT. So LT, LT. So control group constraint parent. This one to RT. Same thing. Now, let's go ahead and get the move me moving with the place me. So the move me is in a group. We got our place me. I select the move me. Constraint. Pair constraint. And now this should move as one unit with the exception of my locators. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of my locators. So, And I want my locators to move with everything else. And should be in scale locked locators and we'll select this select my locators and we're just going to do a parent constraint on that group now I got a problem here it's the same problem I had before I got a scale um, let's see if we can fix that. If not, then I'm going to have to go back and fix some things. So, modify, reuse transformations. And we can't. So, good thing is I don't have a lot invested in this. transformations there we go that could be very bad all right let's go ahead and do this again place me here constrain parent we'll select this our movement group there we go we'll select this our foot cons group and that's where we're at easy fixes now what we don't have is our scale working. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and I think I should be able to just use my scale group in this instance. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. How it depends on how it's set up. And we'll do a scale constraint. Now, we have all of these that we have to take care of. So I'm going to select this. And what I could do is create a group, name this scale cons. And I'm going to take my scale cons and put it in my controls. And then I'm going to take all of these and put it in my scale con group. Then I can select my place me, the scale con group, constrain, and do a scale constraint. And it's working beautifully. Instead of having to do each individual one because we have a lot more controls that we have to be cognizant of. Any questions about that? All right. My feet are not moving apart. So 
so you, you well one I didn't want you to do the scale until I did it so you can see me do it first instead of you trying to figure it out so whatever you did undo it and use the method that I just used alright now before I lock down I think I'm gonna go ahead and just finish up this side here um, just because it's just we should and for those of you who are um, still struggling with the arms I don't know who you are you can see me do it one last time because it's not going to take long set up from the previous class. And right now I'm just naming my groups for my individual controls, which it's a lot, I admit it. But there is a method to our madness. And I also want to reiterate that if you're trying to get a quick rig done, you can use parenting instead of all the groups as well. Once again, I'm approaching this whole class from a standpoint of a pseudo non-destructive rig. Does everybody understand that? Let's do this first one. So we have this group here. And this group, if I go up here, this is going to our upper torso con. And that is going to the upper torso con as well. Alright. So I'm going to select this control. I'm going to see where it is. That's my elbow. I'm going to select this bone. This group. Strain. Parent. This is my wrist. I'm going to select this bone. My wrist group. And it's the group, not the control. If I click on any of your controls and I see blue, you did it wrong. Does everybody understand that? When I click on your controls and I see blue in one of your channels, it's wrong. Parent constraint there. Alright, then we have our hand control. And our hand control will get parent will be constrained to our this joint here. So select this hands parent constraint. And we can do a test. these these will stay where they're at but I do need to do these so we gotta open up this group right here and 
we're going to select that's our RT point emit. Select this, this, another parent constraint. This is our pointer tip. So I'm going to select this bone. Pointer tip, the group, the parent constraint. This is our mid. There we go. I'm going to select this bone. Nope, not that one, this one. And our middle um, mid, do a parent constraint. And then we're going to select this one. This is my middle tip. We'll do a constraint. I'm hitting the G key, which is the use last tool. And then we have this one here. And that's our pinky. Select that. Our pinky mid. And then we select this one. And then it's our pinky tip group. And there we go. And then we can do a quick. test to see if it works. I'm going to do a file, save as, 